Hi and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. I never did get around to making a thank you video for when I reached 10,000 supporters and now I've actually reached 11,000. So I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A for you all. I posted on the community tab and all my social media channels for you to send me questions and now I'm going to answer them. Okay, first up, Ewan Steele asks, what's your favorite top 10 video you have made? Great question. I think it would probably be Lego Dimensions top 5 themes that need to be made into Lego sets. I always try to make videos that I would enjoy and I actually stumbled across this one the other day and found myself watching it. I know, how sad is that? But I was surprised by just how much of what I said actually came true. I said that Lego needed to make a Flintstone set and they did. I said that Lego needed to make a Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them set, and they did. I even suggested the set be Newt's suitcase that opens up with a bunch of brick-built creatures, and guess what? Even my idea for Percival Graves' minifig with a double-sided head so you could transform him into Grindelwald made it into the official Wisden World minifigure series. Mark Brown asks, what is your fave Lego Lone Ranger set? Either the Cold Beastie Showdown or Silvermine Shootout. I do still have one more set in the theme to review, the Constitution Train Chase, so maybe that might take the lead, but at the moment I'd have to say one of those two. The X Machina Guy asks, What is your favourite LEGO idea set? Up until very recently, I probably would have said the Ecto-1, but now I think it has to be the Treehouse. It's such a gorgeous set, it totally exceeded my expectations in every way. It looks so beautiful on display, but I also love all the little details and intricacies inside the house as well. If you're still on the fence about picking this set up, I highly recommend it. Old Man Joe 789 asks, do you have a Lego city? No, but I wish I did. That's the dream, one day. I just don't have enough free space for a Lego city right now, but I do have a ton of Lego on display throughout my house. Seriously, when I told my folks earlier in the year that I was going to Lego house, they were like, why bother? You already live in a Lego house anyway. Manic Plays Games asks, what Lego YouTubers have you met in real life? Short answer? None. <laughs> Living in the UK, I think the vast majority of the LEGO YouTube community seems to be American, which makes meeting up in real life a bit more of a hassle. Honestly though, I haven't really had much contact with other LEGO YouTubers. I did guest on the LJ Johnson show a few weeks back, but for the most part, I'm kind of just sat in the corner doing my own thing at the moment. Maybe I should get involved more, I don't know. What do you think? Brick Science asks, what's your favourite LEGO movie? Gotta be the original. I do love the Lego Batman movie as well, but I don't think they've ever bottled the same lighting they did with the first Lego movie. I've expressed many times my disappointment with the Lego Ninjago movie and how it just kind of dissolved in the second half. I wasn't a huge fan of the Lego movie too. There was certainly stuff in there that I liked, but overall, I just found it a bit tedious, especially with all its propaganda and gender politics, and it just didn't feel as genuine as the first film. The first one had a specific message that it wanted to tell, and everything in that movie comes together towards sending that message, and it works. With the second film, it just felt like they were pandering too much, you know? I've probably triggered a whole bunch of people with that opinion, but hey, that's my opinion. Probably gonna butcher this next name, but UF Plays asks, how old are you? Old enough. But in all seriousness, I am somewhere between this and this. M.A. Gamer asks, The worst LEGO idea set. The ship in a bottle. I didn't like the Labyrinth Marble Maze either, but I could appreciate the build behind that one. The ship in a bottle was just completely pointless. The whole selling point of a ship in the bottle is how they managed to get such a detailed model inside the bottle without breaking it. But this, you could just build the ship and then pop the bottle together around it. Big whoop. And then all the fuss about pouring the blue studs in the bottom to look like water. Amazing. Yeah, I didn't like that set. 
Custom Lego Star asks, what made you start YouTube? So, I had been out of my Lego Dark Age for a while, maybe a year or two, but I was still pretty oblivious to there being a larger community of adult Lego fans out there. Then Lego Dimensions came out, and I loved that game, and I started searching for anything to do with it, and came across some gaming channels and some other channels that listed their favourite things in the game, or things they wanted to see in the game in the future, and that really inspired me, so I decided to have a go, and I started working on my top 5 packs I wanted to see in LEGO Dimensions Year 3. Whilst I was putting that video together, which took way too long by the way, I had no clue what I was doing. But anyway, I saw there were more kinds of LEGO videos out there. News videos, unboxing videos, and of course, review vids. So, I decided to have a go at making one of those as well, and it just kind of kept going from there. TGB Kid asks, do you think that DC has better sets than Marvel? Yes. I may be biased as even though I like both, I am more a DC fan than Marvel. There's certainly a long running joke that Lego Marvel has the most inaccurate sets when it comes to the movies, but I find Marvel sets just don't seem to have the same effort put into them as DC ones do. Anakin Skywalker asks, do you see through the lies of the Jedi? Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Kylove asks, what got you into LEGO, and do you collect all the CMS? Thanks for your amazing content. Oh, well first of all, thank you so much for those kind words, it's great to hear that. In answer to your question, or questions, I've been into LEGO for almost as long as I can remember. I did go through a substantial dark age, back when I was more concerned with being cool and chasing girls, but even before I properly got back into the bricks, I still used to pick up the occasional minifigure or poly bag. Which leads me on to your second question, I do collect the CMFs. Because of my dark age and my gradual return to LEGO, I did miss out on quite a bit first time round, but I'm slowly filling the gaps in my collection. Dominic McNaughton asks, do you think LEGO should focus less on licensed sets and more on their own themes? I think there is room for both licensed and licensed sets. I personally love licensed themes and I think it's great when your favourite franchise and characters get Legofied. But that being said, I would really like to see more original Lego themes. I've said it before but I often feel like all we have at the moment in the way of original Lego themes is Ninjago and City. City has in my opinion just become a sticker to slap onto anything Lego produced that isn't licensed or Ninjago. We've had City sets based on the Arctic, the Jungle and now Space. Where's the actual cities in these? Time was, these would have been their own themes. We used to get stuff like Power Miners, Lego Adventurers or Galaxy Squads, but now, if it ain't Ninjago, it's just Lego City. Obviously, we have just seen the release of Lego Hidden Side, which I'm really hyped for, but I'm also really nervous, because if these sets don't sell very well, I think it will put Lego off making another new original theme for a long time. I see Dead People 35 asks, what mocks or custom builds are you working on at the moment? At the moment, I'm sorry to say I'm not actively working on any custom builds. I do still have plenty of ideas I want to work on, but to be honest, my motivation kind of took a kick in the teeth with that whole Scott Pilgrim fiasco. It's not even a conscious, I'm throwing my toys out the pram sort of protest. I'm trying to get back into it, but I've just been struggling a lot with finding the drive to build my own stuff again. I did start a Wallace and Gromit mock based on the wrong trousers, but I got so far and ended up tearing it down because I wasn't happy with it, and I haven't tried again since. I do want to build my own modular arcade building. There was this great arcade place when I was growing up that also had a bowling alley, pool hall, and laser tag, and I keep thinking about trying to make something that is inspired by that. It wouldn't be something that I would post on LEGO Ideas, it would just be for me, and my enjoyment. Of course, I'd love to make a video about it and share it with you all. I just need to find that drive again. Brickster Steven asks, any tips on becoming a LEGO YouTuber? Oh, wow. Well, thanks for this question, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I'm qualified to answer it. There are so many bigger and better LEGO YouTubers out there than me. I mean, for me, this is a hobby. I have a YouTube channel and I make videos purely for fun. 
I still have a regular day job that pays all my bills, this is just what I do in my spare time. So if I have any tips, I would say have fun. Make videos you would want to watch and want to make and keep having fun. And we'll wrap the video up there. Thank you to everyone who sent me a question. I'm sorry I didn't answer everyone that was posted. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks again to everyone who sent me a question and thank you all for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be a hero and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Laters.